Welcome to this uplifting yin yoga practice for the heart and hamstrings to raise your vibration and uplift your spirits. You will need two pillows and a large book or block for this practice. Begin by pulling one or two pillows in between your knees, sitting on your heels and releasing your forehead down onto the block, the book, or all the way down to the mat. Stretch your arms out in front of you, bringing your fingertips to touch. Relaxing and releasing here in Balasana. Begin to cultivate a deep, slow, rhythmic breath in and out the nose. Close your mouth. Breathe in deeply, inflating your belly with your breath like it's a balloon. Exhale slowly and smoothly out the nose, constricting the back of the throat. On every inhalation, fill your belly, your side ribs, all the way to the back of your lungs. On every exhalation, engage the pelvic floor, pulling the belly button in towards the spine and under your ribs. Attach your mind to your breath and allow yourself to settle into the stillness. Throughout this practice, allow any emotions to come up and don't judge. Simply feel them rise up like steam and blow away. On your next inhalation, slowly like you're moving through honey, press into your hands and rise up, removing your pillow, bringing your block or your book out in front of you, bringing your hips directly over your knees, walking your hands out forward, keeping those hips over the knees, releasing your forehead down onto the block or book or all the way down onto the mat in Anahata. Come to a place of stillness and reattach your mind to your deep, slow breaths in and out the nose. Remembering on even every exhalation, pulling the belly button into the spine and up as you engage the pelvic floor. We're going to begin to move the spine. On your inhale, tuck the chin to the chest, round. Exhale, release your forehead all the way down to the block, book, or mat. 
On your inhale, press into the hands, tuck the chin to the chest. On your exhalation, slowly and softly, meld your head back down to the book or floor. On your inhalation, tucking the chin, rounding the spine, your tailbone tilts down and forward slightly. Every exhalation, softly and slowly, releasing the third eye back down to the book or floor. Continue in the rhythm of your own breath here. Every inhalation, tucking the chin into the chest. Every exhalation, lengthening the spine, melting the forehead back down to the mat. On your next exhalation, releasing your forehead down to the mat, and your next inhalation, gliding your belly down onto the floor, your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Then release your forehead all the way down to the tops of your hands. Allow your full body to become heavy and sink and relax down into the mat. On your next inhalation, glide your hands back beside your side body, bringing the elbows back in line with your spine, your elbows and arms close into your side body, spreading your fingers wide. Press the tops of your feet actively down into the mat so that your kneecaps lift up away from the floor. Roll your shoulders back gliding your shoulder blades along your spine down towards your tailbone. Holding here for as long as is comfortable. If you can't hold the pose any longer, simply release your third eye back down to the tops of your hands and release. Continue your deep, slow, rhythmic breath in and out the nose here. On your next exhalation, slowly release the pose, bringing your forehead down to the tops of your hands. 
breathe deeply into the low back, middle back, the back of the heart. Breathe out slowly, relaxing, releasing. Breathe deeply into the low back, middle back, the back of the heart. And exhale, pressing the hands to the mat, shifting your hips to your heels, and releasing your forehead down to the mat in Spalasana. Then rise back up with the hands and knees, gliding your knees carefully forward, bringing your hips directly over your knees, bringing your hands to your heart. The first option is to stay here, lifting your heart, rolling your shoulders back. Otherwise, glide your palms to your low back, pressing your elbows together behind you as if you're squeezing a ball between your elbows behind your back. Roll your shoulders back away from your ears and press your heart out and up towards the sky. Make sure that you're pressing your hips forward so they remain over your knees. Either stay here or glide your hands back to your heels. Your toes can be curled under or the tops of your feet pressing down into the mat. If your hands are all the way down to your heels, Make sure your hips are over your knees, pressing those hips forward, engaging the low belly, lifting up out of the low back, squeezing your shoulder blades onto your spine and pressing your heart up to the sky. Avoid any compression in the low back here. If you feel any compression, simply return to bringing your hands up to your low back or bringing your hands to your heart. Continue to breathe deeply all the way down into the belly. And on every exhalation, pull the belly button in and up. On your next inhalation, slowly and smoothly bring your hands to your low back and rise up one vertebrae at a time. Pause, and then slowly sit down on your heels, grounding your energy, then bring your fists to your low belly and fold forward over the fists, massaging your low belly here with your fists, allowing your forehead to release down to the mat counteracting this uplifting, energizing pose, Ustrasana, with this soft forward fold into Blasna here. On your next inhalation, slowly rise up and spread your legs out into a V. You may want to bring a rolled up blanket underneath your sitting bones here to aid you in this pose. Grab your two pillows and your block. If you're sitting completely upright, this is beautiful. If you want more of a stretch, bring your elbows down onto your pillows and perhaps up onto your block for added height. Bringing your thumbs of your hands together, pressing your thumbs into your third eye. Flex your feet, making sure your toes point straight up to the ceiling. Come forward, bind your edge wherever that may be, and settle into stillness, attaching your mind to your smooth, slow, even breath in and out the nose here. With time, you may be able to glide your pillows more and more forward, or perhaps bringing your forehead or your cheek all the way down to the floor. Wherever you are is beautiful. The person who wins in yin is the one who settles into the present moment, into right now.
On your next inhalation, press into your hands and slowly glide up to sitting with a tall spine. Then glide with the help of your hand, your hand, your feet together, your legs together. Bring your pillows out of the way. And then bend your right knee, bringing the right foot back towards your right hip. Press the left foot into the mat and lift your hips up away from the floor. Lifting your heart up to the sky. We're stretching our right quadricep here. Then lower down and lift back up or if you need more of a stretch, you can also lower down onto your forearms. On your next exhalation, lower your seat down onto the mat. Rise up, straightening your left leg, flexing your left toes, and then fold forward over your left leg. Coming forward any amount, resting your fingertips on the floor, attempting to breathe length into the spine on every inhalation, every exhalation using the strength of the core of the belly to pull you deeper over your left leg. On your next inhalation, rise back up to sitting with a tall spine. Bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee, your right fingertips behind you. Ground down into both sitting bones, lifting up to the crown of the head, and use the belly to twist you deeper open to the right. On your next exhalation, release the pose, repeating the same series on the other side, bending your left knee, pressing your right foot into the floor and lifting your hips, stretching the left quadricep. You can stay here, or if you need more of a stretch, you can lower down onto your forearms, lifting the hips back up to the sky. On your next exhalation, release back down to the mat, straightening your right leg out in front of you, flexing your right toes toward you. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold forward, bringing your fingertips down onto the mat, gliding your shoulders down away from your ears and fold. On every inhalation, finding more length in the spine, every exhalation using the belly to pull you deeper into the pose. On your next inhalation, slowly and softly rise back up and bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee, twisting open to the left. Make sure both sitting bones are grounded to the earth. Lift up through the top of the head and then use the belly to twist you deeper open to the left.
on your next exhalation, release the pose, straightening the left leg out in front of you and roll slowly down onto your back. Then bend both knees, wrap the left leg around the right leg, shift your hips and seat over to the right, and then allow your knees to fall down towards the floor. Stretch your arms out at shoulder level and allow your body to relax into this healing twist. On your next inhalation, glide your knees back up, shift your hips to the right, wrap your right leg around the left, and then allow your knees to fall over towards the left any amount. On your next exhalation, unwind the legs, bringing your knees into your chest, rolling the low back on the floor, and then rolling up to seated to grab your book, block, and pillows. Place one pillow underneath your knees, the block underneath your heels, and another pillow underneath your heart. Then glide your arms open, relaxing back onto your pillows, turning your palms up to the sky and allow yourself to grow heavy 
and relaxed with deep relaxation here in supported Shavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose and blow as slow as you can out the mouth. Three more times, inhale deeply through the nose. Blow it as slow as you can out the mouth. Breathe in deeply through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Breathe in deeply through the nose and slowly out the mouth. Take one more deep breath in and sigh out the mouth. As you settle into stillness, allow your body to breathe you here and relax, release, and let go.
slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes coming back to the room roll over onto your right side bending your knees and press into the left palm to glide up to an easy seat bringing your hands to your heart wishing you radiant health and so much joy namaste and if you enjoyed this practice please subscribe to the channel